Okay, welcome back, and in this video we're going to talk about the cowl. The cowl is rather um, uh, difficult uh, if you've never worked with um, fiberglass before, because it is a fiberglass cowl. Uh, if you've worked with fiberglass, it's really not so bad. So, um, <laughs> uh, it also depends upon the size and which engine you used. If you use the engine I use, which is the OS46, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to cut out a big hole in the front, on the top, okay? And so you can see how much is left here, uh, a little less than a half an inch. You can see that this goes all the way to the ring here, and it has to go that far forward to make sure that the cowl is behind the thrust washer, because that's where the spinner is going to sit. So it's got to go that far forward. This little dip here is for where the push rod um, for the carburetor arm comes out because <clears throat> if you don't you clear it has to clear it a little bit okay and it has to be this far back so that it can slip over and so this is trial and error and I'm not going to film trial and error because I did a lot of trials and some, some errors um, one one gouge as you can see right there um, and then the other thing I did was I cut a hole the size of of this little black piece that's going to go on the um, <clears throat> um, uh, to hold the stopper for the green third line fill line so um, I'll show you how the cow goes on okay um, the, the tubes don't matter right now because I'm not going to permanently mount it yet. Okay. But um, in the picture, it only shows it going back like a quarter of an inch. Well, only a quarter of an inch, uh, that engine would have been a lot farther forward. And I don't think they really meant that. So it's got to go back far enough like this to where the thrust washer is sticking out. And that's sticking out about three sixteenths, maybe almost a quarter. And then, fortunately there's four holes here, and then you uh, drill some pilot holes and screw it together. It's that simple. Um, uh, I cut this out with a Dremel tool and uh, both a sanding stone and a cutting stone and uh, a cutting wheel, a steel cutter. Uh, a sanding stone, and I started with rough cutouts with a with a cutoff wheel. So that's a lot of mess. I don't even do that mess in the shop here. It's out there. Um, and out and I got to clean up my garage. So that's what the cowl is going to look like. Um, what I'm going to do next is off camera. Um, I'm going to get some epoxy. Um, mixed up six minute epoxy will do and so I'm going to epoxy this into this hole like that okay and then when you do that make sure you um, set it down upside down on a paper towel or something so it doesn't stick to your table uh, so that when the epoxy runs through it runs back down and forms a bead on the bottom so you have to let it dry sitting like that and at the same time I do that I'm going to put a, sh a small amount of epoxy on this plastic tube here to keep it from moving uh, that holds the throttle arm so um, that's the cowl uh, I'm going to do you see me mix epoxy uh, I'm going to do all that off camera um, the screws once they're in uh, by the way when you when you do put this on um, you have to be careful of several things. One is that this is underneath where the um, muffler goes. So you always have to make sure you come down far enough and so you can see that that's going to fit nicely there. Um, and that it's um, uh, far enough over here to be able to get to the uh, tubing um, and to the um, both the low speed and the high speed needle, which are over here. And so I've left plenty of room to have my fingers there to, um, 
and also, by the way, we haven't done yet. We'll do it later. Um, I'm going to add a fuel tubing um, to the fuel tubing a uh, filter uh, between the nipple here and the uh, where it goes into the firewall. So I'm going to leave plenty of room here to do that. <clears throat> so that's the cowl. That's what it's going to look like. Uh, that's all I'm going to show you because the rest is fairly simple. Um, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.